Yo, yo, check it out, check it out. It's your man, Dot X, man. Here back with True Wine. True Wine Connoisseurs, understand? It's the birthday episode. You know, it's my man Will Tell birthday today, and it was my birthday on Tuesday. And we're going to be celebrating today, courtesy of the good people at Winebow. We're going to mess with Winebow today. And, you know, they've been an, uh, an importer and distributor of fine wines and specialty spirits for 30 years. Originally, they was in Italy, but now they're here in New York City. You know what I'm saying? And first off, we're going to start off with the Z Zardetto Prosecco Brute. And they even sent me a book because I guess they was tired of me fucking up the pronunciations and things and not knowing. So they sent me a book and they said, Dot X, if you got a question, go to the wine book. So here we are, True Wine Connoisseurs, episode 13. Send a case to this place. We're doing bigger and better things. Check it out, y'all. This is from Wine Bow. We're going to pop it slow. We're going to let y'all know just how it was. We do this just because we like to drink and we throw up every night in the sink. Don't get it fucked up. Don't get it trucked up. Nah, we just bugging. <laughs> Wine Bow, we're going to pop the bottle. Pop, yeah. the, pop the cork. Let's pop the cork. Let me see if I can get the cork off him. Have him a, come on, Wine Bow. I got it. Oh, push no. that out. Oh, there we go. No, oh no. no. That's not a good sign, yo. Yeah. Wine bow. Wine bow, that's not a good sign, man. We gon' Oh shit, the cork done broke. Man, that's almost like an omen in wine drinking law. But we're gonna get it right, man. We're gonna get this cork out of we here. We're gonna have to get the wine, the wine cork twister exactly. thingy. You gotta get it out, man. Come on, wine bow. Alright, hold up. up. Check it out. We back again, man. We got the cork out. We got the cork out, you know what I'm saying? Wine bow, that was a close call, wine bow. We got the cork out. Courtesy of my man Gino Rossi, though, he gave us the, the engraved, the wooden kit, you know what I'm saying, with this little thing that you do something with the wine with, and we got the coke screw over here, too. So, uh, we got it open. I'm not even going to talk about this yet right here. This is like a, a, a body, like a, a like a coffin right here, but we're we going to get into that. Let's let's have a little bit of this wine, bowl. So, all right, wine bowl got the bubbles in it. Anytime you got the bubbles in it, you gotta watch out because you know the bubbles get in the stomach and start bloop 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 bloop. So you gotta you gotta you gotta watch the bubbles, but uh We're gonna make a toast with this one. It's yeah, our this, birthday. This is birthday a episode. This is a toast to my man Will Tell, toast to Sadax, you know what I'm saying? Toast to the lows. You see Ralph skiing right there. Always double L, you know. Love what I'm and saying? loyalty. And that's what it is, love and loyalty, low lives, true wine kind of sore, wine bow. Here we go. Sounds like I'll be bugging and I'll be having a flashback. And I've been thinking about like different performances that I've seen that's been real fly to me. One of the flyest performances I ever saw was Frank Sinatra in the garden. Because bust it, Frank was on stage, he had a chair, and he smoked a pack of cigarettes through the whole show just doing casual songs, walking around. That was some real fly shit to me, Frank on the stage at the garden. I think he had a cup with some shit in it. He had, a, he had cigarettes, and he just was on some real fly casual shit. He had the band playing. That was a great performance by Frank. Frank was always on some real smooth fly shit anyway. So this one goes out to Frank Sinatra. Yo, check it out. We've been drinking wine bowl today. Understand, we got a letter from him, so I'm not front. It's not like I'm front. And it's a good drink. You know, it's, it's bubbly. So it's that type of drink that you drink on one of these cold days like this. You drink this. You and your lady, or or you and somebody that you with for the moment, and you drink this and you start looking at it and be like, mm, yeah, I'm gonna get right with that boy. Keep drinking that right there, mom. This will give you that type of feeling like that. You get warm and snuggly. I, I just want to snuggle up like you got a snuggie on. You know, like the snuggy joints and shit. <laughs> I'm gonna have one with the big Shazam right here for my people from Juggernaut. I'm gonna make me a Juggernaut True Wine and Sound Connoisseur Snuggie. That's coming next month, yo. Wine Connoisseur Snuggies. We sell them right here. Thanks to Wine Boat. I'm slobbering and spitting shit out. Thanks to Wine Boat. They go up. Look at the look at the thing right there. It's other people that's up too. And now Wine Boat goes up. The good people from Wine Boat. Giving a shout out to my man Stretch Armstrong. You understand what I'm saying? And I'll say Ray Kwan because I feel he got the best album of the year. And that's how we rock it here. Wine Boat. True Wine Connoisseurs. My man Will Tell birthday. Double L. Sadat X birthday. Love and, and loyalty, that's how we rock baby. it. Love and loyalty. It is what it is. Drink. I'm on Gonza. Syndication is place. And stop fronting, yo. Stop fronting.